showing you how to connect the Ranger to a different MQTT broker and then how an application like uh, Ignition Server uh, with the MQTT engine will be reading data directly from the Ranger. Uh, so first, uh, launch the Signal Fire Ranger Toolkit, uh, connect a USB cable, refresh the ports. This will identify the USB cable connected to the Ranger. Just click on Open and then go to the MQTT tab. If you don't see the MQTT tab, that's because it's hidden. Click on Tools, Options, and expose the MQTT and Spark Plug B tab. Once you have done that and you are on the MQTT section, uh, click on Custom, type in the URL of your uh, MQTT broker. In this case, I have one set up uh, for demonstration purposes um, and I'm going to put the username, the credentials, just essentially match the settings of your MQTT broker. Uh, the security needs to be match your broker and so forth. Um, and then simply apply. You're going to notice that the Ranger will be disconnecting from the current MQTT broker and connect to this one. I'm going to click apply. It's going to reset the Ranger's MQTT broker. And now it's connected to this Mosquito Cloud broker. And as you can see right here in Ignition, uh, the values are coming in. Uh, I'm going to change the discrete input. There you go. It's changing. And uh, that's it. This is how you set up the Ranger with a different MQTT broker. Mm -hmm.